This is Lamaha Street, guys. What up, Rafa Leaders? Welcome back to my channel. Lamaha Street in Georgetown, Guyana. Showing you some of the new neighborhoods and what's new in the old neighborhoods. This is a new building I'm going up here on Lamaha Street. Now in Kitty. And back there is Sobrianville. We've come past Sobrianville. Now we're in Kitty. Kitty, I think, was much of a, a residential neighborhood. It says Mon... What was it? Montra Restaurant and Lounge. So it's, it's a restaurant and lounge. It's a building. Lots of garages going up there. But on Lamaha Street, which runs, you know, the entire length of the city from south, from north to south, it actually starts out there at Public Road Kitty and then goes all the way into Bel Air, Bel Air Park. On the way, it changes names a few times. Brian changes names a few times. It's Lamaha Street, it's Torgan Hall. This is Pike Street. Pike Street and Kitty going through uh, Lamaha Street Kitty. Alright, so what is happening is that this what used to be densely packed uh, residential neighborhood is kind of becoming more and more commercial as well as uh, renovated in the sense in a way that uh, most other neighborhoods are becoming renovated but in a much more restricted or res re reserved way because the lots right because of how densely packed the houses are the lots on which the houses are built tend to be very small so to renovate them usually means maintaining the footprint of the home and either going up leaving a taller building or just renovating the outside and the inside of the same structure, basically updating it. This is Thomas Street, Thomas Street and Kitty. Now, some new buildings going up here in Kitty as well. Like I said, if you want to renovate Distance, the house- Distance, six miles. Duration, two hours, 16 minutes, 44 seconds. Pace, 21 minutes, 41 seconds. Per mile, 968 kilocalories burned. Like if you want to renovate a house in this neighborhood, you kind of have to go up taller. And so that changes the form factor. The house tends to be narrow and tall. And that is the reason why, because the, the lots are not expandable. The house lots are fixed, right? So they're narrow lots tend to be about 40 feet wide on average and a half lot will be 40 feet by 40 feet a full lot 40 feet by 80 feet and you ha your house basically has to fit on that footprint and that determines the shape of the architecture and the size of the building you can put up the policy now is if you wanted to go up above three stories, if you want to build a building in Georgetown that is more than three stories tall, then you need to have special permit. In other words, you need to have the soil tested and then you probably need some special uh, foundation to be built. You need to put a foundation of piles, like huge uh, posts into the ground you need to drive piles into the ground once you need to go four stories or taller right up to three stories tall you don't need uh, permission uh, to renovate your home upwards in other words a two-story building can become a two a three-story building without without any um, infringement of the law but if you're going to get tall if you're going to build a taller building taller than three stories then you need a soil test and need uh, 
permits because the building codes change their foundation requirements and so on so that is what is governing a kind of uh, restricting limiting construction in Georgetown and, and that's of course for safety reasons you don't want to build a tall building that collapses and then damages your neighbor's property and so on so this is Lamaha Street it eventually turns into so this is the train line road I think we've come along the train line road we've come along the train line road in the past the last video I think I brought you to this section of the train line road and this is the train line intersecting with uh, Sandy Bab Street which also becomes Campbell Avenue and then Lamaha Street changes name again and becomes Middleton Street. So there you have the beginning of Middleton Street and of course in Middleton Street goes through Newtown Kitty. Alright so right now we're in Kitty and Campbellville. Lamaha Street ends here and then continues at right angles in a few blocks. But that's what's up guys. That's Lamaha Street in Georgetown, Guyana and what's changing. I think I did a previous video on Middleton Street. I also did a video on Sandy Bab Street. So you guys who want to see what's happening, I'll probably review some of those videos and see if they have changed, if the streets have changed since then. So that I can make some new videos. But this is what's happening here. Share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening here in Georgetown, Guyana. Later!